again I'm a bit happier now I'm getting used to this YouTube it is a crafter an update on the craft I took the bull bar off didn't like it a bit cheesy made me all two light bars on it two little light bars go up and made right I'll run down a few things which might have left out last time but well, it's a nice sunny day and it's lovely and clean give you a close up of the light bar done away with all the chrome on the grill and the badge It's got front sensors on this, I don't like them but some of you might do. There's the grenade wheels, 18 inch with, forget what size tyres they are, 2, 3, 5, 60, 18 all terrains. Side bars, made by myself. Some little Raptor 4 before, like so. Can't put a dimmer switch on them because the mega bright. Windows all round. There's an awning rail up there. We didn't like the um, Fiamma wind out ones, they rattle so much and You usually have to pull them in when you go to bed at night. It's got a 50 millimeter lift kit on it.
here we go. I'll um, try and sh show you the roof if this pole extends enough. Water tank, 100 litre, built over the wheel arch. Hot and cold shower. Best thing ever this, especially when it's warm. Plugs in there, and then you're away, hot and cold. Fishing rods, spade. Thing for laying the tyres down when you're on soft sand. The axe for chopping the wood. And there is the electrics. Little LED lights for the night, 12 volt sockets, ramps, lecky hook up if ever needed. But we won't need that because there's two 160 amp batteries in there, ADM batteries. Rampons, walking sticks. Obviously we do a lot of walking. There's enough room in there for get two mountain bikes in without front wheel on, no problem at all. Full flushing toilet, that's where you empty it. Battery get, get monitor there. There's lots of storage in there, fit two mountain bags in there, no problem without the battery on all the front wheels. New Crafter black wheel double bike rack. It can carry up to 50 kilos, I believe. I'll show you some nice little mods, what you might like if you've got a new Crafter. Notice the little mud flaps to stop all the mud coming off. So easy to make. I don't know if you can see them now the fix, but they're using the original fixings. Stops all the mud going up the side of the van. There's the other little one. That's all you need. Some nice little bits of plastic. You can see using the original fixings. So easy to make. This van is also registered as a motor caravan. Right, here we go. I'll show you the insides. Twin captain seats, genuine ones, with uh, 
the upholsterer done by seat skins and believe it or not these are covers I designed the mats myself. Uh, Ambassador carpets in Standish, Wigan, Merseyside. Done the mats, so he has the patterns now. So I fill me LPG up. I put an extra vent in for me Waco fridge. This is also a pull out shower, hot and cold. Right, I'll show you inside. Nice little pop up table there. Very good, that. Done the handbrake modification, so you can you can actually get the it only goes up a couple of clicks. It's lowered, um, so you can spin the driver's seat around. I usually sit here on a night. You can't get comfier than that on a night, you know. Perfect. Big sink. Full size cooker. Proper flushing water toilet. Plenty of room on there. We could have put a shower in there, but we prefer to shower outside. Or usually, shower tent. Full size, double, four foot be six foot. Memory foam mattress. All the units have little actuators on. Even as an imported spring system from Germany under the mattress. A lot comfier than our bed at all in our own house, believe it or not. Max Earth fan. Put the remote up there. That's where the control is for the night eater. So you can use it when you're in bed. Turn it up and down. Best place for it really. The little chrome lights at the back. You can have USB sockets in them. That's the electrics. Look at that. In sunny Merseyside now, it's 36 degrees during the COVID lockdown. Thirteen point nine volts. Hot water heater controls and the tank. That's where we put the teller. We have a twenty-inch LED teller, TV. In other words, 
goes on there, we can watch it when we're there. We can watch it when we're outside. We can watch it when we're in bed. There's the cooker. There's the fridge. Another little drawer there. Oh. Loads of storage in this for two people. It's where our pots and pans and kettle and everything goes. Another cupboard there. Nice drawer there for the knives and forks. Another big cupboard up there. All with the um, actuators on. Nice little light. Perspex light there. More stories there above the cab. As you can see, these seat skins are amazing detail for covers. Full eyeline, this, I believe they only made the eyeline for 12 months. This is a full eyeline, even says eyeline on the logbook. Has all the extras, was the next demo. That's where the heater comes out. We also have the heater coming out into the garage as well. Nice little lights all the way around as well. And up there. So there you go guys. An update on the crafter. Any questions, answer, I'll answer them straight away. We've owned this now for well, 16 months and we absolutely love it after having so many T5s and T6s. It's amazing. looking guys I hope you're all well through this COVID business give me a like and I hope to see you at the Volkswagen shows or at Shell Island where we are we spend most of our time bye hold me close till I get up time is barely on our side